Ukraine against Hungary, Richard Rappaport against Vasily Ivanchuk, round number 5 of Chess Olympiad 2024. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg. I'm here with you in this YouTube channel. Every day I'm uploading videos, so just stay tuned. Today's game is one you don't want to miss. Vasily Vanchuk from Ukraine against Richard Rappaport from Hungary. Both players have been top contenders in the world for many years. They both talented, creative, and you will not believe how imaginative and fascinating this game is. So let's get started. In this video, I really recommend you sit back, relax and enjoy the show. With the white pieces played in this game, the Grandmaster Vasily Ivanchuk. With the black pieces, of course, Richard Rappaport. Let's begin. D4, Knight F6, C4, G6. Knight c3 and now d5. This is the Grunfeld defense. As you already know, bishop g7 is the king's Indian defense after e4, d6. I don't know, h3, f3, bishop p3, knight f3, bishop e2, so many lines. But this is the king's Indian defense. So after knight c3, d5, this is the Grunfeld. Knight f3, bishop g7, bishop f4. Uh, also, i familiar with, I don't know, c takes d5. Maybe also bishop g5 there is a move, but also bishop f4, castle and rook c1. And now was played the move bishop g4 and I must tell you this is not looking some theory. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but it looks for me that is not in the, the first line of the theory. And now e3 was played after 4 minutes of thought uh, for Vasily Ivanchuk. c5 was played. I think overall maybe here 95 was, was a little bit better. Uh, but I don't know, bishop e6 with c6, knight bd7, maybe knight e5 was not the best. So e3 was played by Vasily, c5, black is playing in the center, he wants also to play the move knight c6 and as you can see uh, he has already three pieces developed, castled, so yeah, knight c6 and I don't know, queen a5, rook a c8, rook fd8, so you're just pushing the pawns in the center and controlling the center, yeah. So d takes e5, just taking one pawn up. Bishop takes f3 and in this position you can stop and think by yourself, you know, black has maybe developed two pieces, right? The knight and the bishop or the, the, the castle, but it don't have one pawn and also two bishops for white. So where is the point? I will show you. Knight e4. Very strong move by Richard Rappaport. You know, he's saying, you know what, I don't need bishops and... I will tell you the truth, I don't need also a pawn, I just attacking the king. You know, this king on e1 is not uh, castled yet and this bishop is not developed yet, so knight e4 is playing very, you know, active in this game. As you can see, just very, very special moves here by Richard Rapport. I think they both are very, you know, like kind of players that can do everything in the position, you know, just sacrificing, uh, playing very weird, this is how they are playing chess. So c takes d5 was played, I think after knight takes c4, the point here that d takes e4, queen takes and just bishop takes b2, uh, I think also queen a5, yeah, maybe queen a5, just check, right, uh, of course, like this. And yeah, king d1, king e2, of course, very bad, queen takes a2, this pawn on b2 is just uh, bad, 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 yeah. Black is doing just perfect. Knight e4 was played, uh, after knight takes d5, just queen a5 check overall, uh, b4, queen a3, and yeah, it's very scary for this king on e1, right? And the rook is under attack, I don't know, something about f5, bishop c3, e6, knight c6, yeah, the king here on e1 is really, really open. So c takes d5 was played, bishop c3, what a move! b takes c3 and in this position white has two bishops against two knights and two pawns up but the game just started queen takes d5 and now the, the a2 pawn is under attack the a the c5 pawn is under, under attack of course but the, this knight on e4 is a little bit you know like on the air right so the queen cannot go anywhere for now 
He played the move rook d1, queen e6, and now rook d4. Knight takes c5, looks, looks fine. Bishop c4, just developing a bishop, and also maybe trying to, 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 to castle. Queen c6 was played. And now bishop d5, another very strong move. Queen b5, and the point was just, you know, like, uh, to remove the options for, from castling. I think in this position, I thought to myself, why not to castle immediately? But overall, just queen takes, g takes, and knight c6. Yeah, and this position may be as tr some troubles for white because the pawns are weak, yeah? Rook fc8, knight a5, maybe rook a d8, rook a c8. Yeah, these two knights are not bad pieces, right? So, bishop d5 was played, queen b5, and now maybe knight d3 is a threat, maybe queen b1 in some ways. So let's see, a4 was played by white, uh, in this position the best move was bishop h6, and now you are attacking the rook, and also don't forget that this rook cannot go anywhere because queen takes f7 and queen g7 checkmate on the board, right? So in this position knight d3, a very strong move, and after king d2, knight d7. And I don't know, it really looks interesting, knight e5, this king is not feeling so good, queen b2 check in some ways, uh, for example bishop f8, I think just queen b2 check, king takes d3 and now knight e5, and yeah, this position looks just uh, winning for black, so yeah, it's really interesting, after king d2, knight e7, after rook takes d3, just queen b2 check, I don't know, king d1 or e1, maybe e1, knight e5 probably, Queen d1 takes, takes, rook fc8. Yeah, should be better for white, but I don't know. It's also not so easy for me to understand at least. So after queen b5, Vasily played the move a4, attacking the queen. And yeah, I, I can understand it because he really wants to disturb this queen from this diagonal. So he's playing the move knight d3 check, king d2, and queen b2 check. What a great move by Richard Rappaport. Just bringing a full knight. But the king is on d3, knight a6, quiet move, you are down one piece, two bishops for white, and this king is a very weak piece, knight c5, rook a c8, and just mate attack. Let's see what is going on here, rook c4, of course, because knight c5 is a very strong and active uh, attack, rook a d8. Putting the rook on this file, and now e6, yeah, looks correct. The king is really bad in this position. What can he do? Bishop e5, this was a blunder by Chesscom. Maybe bishop h6 was a better move, but I don't know, e6, bishop f8, rook takes d5, uh, yeah, rook d4, oh, no, maybe, maybe queen takes, he takes rook c8. Yeah, with bishop, wow, bishop a3 check, and bishop a6 checkmate, wow, unbelievable, maybe this one is looking correct for white, yeah, so rook takes d5 is a bad move, maybe king f8, and the next move will be rook takes, or maybe e takes with knight c5, right, so this position is looking very interesting, I don't know how to, to play with, with white pieces right now, maybe e4, the only move, e takes, e takes, but I don't know, I really want to play here with the black pieces, it's looking very bad for, for this king and very scary. Knight c7, no, knight c7 cannot, be. maybe b5, b5, a takes, queen takes b5 with knight c5, rook d5, rook c8. Yeah, maybe this one, I don't know. Yeah, interesting, really interesting, but bishop e5 was played, a, a real brand, blunder, e6 was played now. Just attacking the bishop, rook takes d5, that's it. But now queen f6 was played with 2 minutes on the clock in 21 moves. Unbelievable pressure. Rook takes d5, king e4, and now rook e5. Brilliant move, because of course queen g7 and queen h8 is the checkmate threats. Queen rook takes e5 is the only move to avoid it. King takes e5, and now queen e2. Attacking the rook, and also bringing the queen to h5 maybe, to d5. Really scary for, for white. Rook d4 was played. Knight b8. Wow, 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 wow. Richard Rappaport, you are just a genius. You're coming back with the knight and attacking knight c6 check. What a maneuvering. You know, it's just amazing to see and learn. You know, just beautiful. Let's see. Rook d6, of course, to avoid rook knight c6 because after knight c6, just rook takes and this position maybe has some, I don't know. I maybe H4.
H5, H6, <laughs> I really don't know, but also it's looking very bad. But he didn't play like this. He played the move Queen C4. Now Queen C5, this is the threat because it's a check and we are taking the Rook. So he played the move Queen F4 and just resigned immediately um, because F6, 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 and the game is over because the King cannot go anywhere. Queen F6, uh, I don't know, just, just Rook takes. That's it, the game is over. Yeah, Queen H4, taking the pawns, Knight C6. Queen and Knight against two Rooks, just game over. So after Queen F4, Vasily Vanchuk resigned the game and Richard Rappaport brings home the most important win in this Olympiad until now for Hungary. And they managed to win against Ukraine. Two and a half against one and a half. You know, just amazing, amazing. And we will have more to see. Tomorrow, I will upload, not tomorrow, it will be today for you guys. I will be in live streaming round number six of FIDE Chess Olympiad 2024. Don't forget to see it with me. It will be like three, four hours. You can come, you can call your friends. It will be just a fantastic event. So see you soon. Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe my channel for more chess content. I will bid you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Not tomorrow. Today. Come on. Bye.